A group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. Real quick sprints, take the disc briskly, sunshine glints off my frisbee, crisply knows how it goes with the sand between our toes. We got both of the pivots and all of the throws. Got to hold the disc and move it at the right time. When you flick your wrist and you're feeling sublime, compose your throws, not discuss fluttery tricks from the brick and your biscuits buttery. Feel the spirit, stretch every sinew, stream in courage, yeah, we continue. Take my hand, yeah, come with me. From the disc to the sand, to the beach, to the sea. There's magic in the air. All you have to do is catch it. EBUCC 2022. Welcome back to the beach of Portimao here in the Algarve coast in Portugal for the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. And we are in semi finals. 
in the Open Division. Jet Set from Belgium playing against Fendisk from Spain. And the uh, Jet Set team are getting very rowdy, getting themselves psyched up, ready for this one. Tom Styles alongside Benji Reese and uh, Benji, these two teams worked very hard to get into this uh, semi and slightly different fortunes as well. They have indeed. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, everyone. Uh, six games, six victories for Jet Set coming out of Pool C. Strong wins over RFO, Ray Flying Oysters, Disco Bolo, Hard Fish and Chronicle Dizziness before a 13-5 uh, pounding of Krakens in their last pool game. And then in the quarterfinals, Actually, they were in dire straits, it has to be said. 9-5 down to the Irish sand job, and then powered out in the second half to a 13-11 win, taking the game on an 8-2 run. Fendisk, not been perfect. Uh, dropped a pool game in sun death to Salaspils, getting broken on Universe by the Latvians for the win. So they've had to fight their way through the pre-quarters, which they did with a 13-3 win over the countrymen of Jet Set, uh, Freeze Bees of Bruges, before a 13-7 win over Murcia Lagos in an all-Spanish quarter-final. Uh, the wind is almost non-existent as this first pole goes up into the sky. A towering disc from Alexander Sparholtz, which is going to go out of bounds and is going to be brought in by... Uh, Christoph Phillips. Yeah, Jet Set coming out of Leuven in Belgium. Phillips. First two cuts well marked out by Fendisk. Beach specialist team from Santander who are playing in black. Jet Set playing in the white shirts. Good find. Gets it back across to Phillips. And a denial. The disc does not make it. Big hand coming in from Juan Gonzalez. First chance for a break in this opening point of the game. Throw just a little bit offline. And when the defenders are so close, you cannot afford to have those slight inaccuracies. High take. Low release, but it was uh, misunderstood by the receiver in the end zone. The disc perfectly uh, finding its way. Jan Novak d d delivering that disc, but the miscommunication in the end zone leaves Alexander Sparholz uh, wrong-footed, and it's a disc back to Jet Set. Jet Set finding the way through to the far sideline. Looks up the field, sees a cut. Sparholz is underneath this, but oh, what a takedown. Under a lot of pressure, Christoph Phillips for Jet Set brings that one down for an opening hold, but a messy hold it was. That is a towering sky to get that first point on the board there for Jet Set. Fendisk, obviously, long, large Spanish contingent, but with a couple of useful additions as well. The two Austrians there that time, not on the same page, Novak and Sparholz. We'll also see the German World Games player, Sebastian Spiegel, suiting up for Santander. But having got that disc back off the miscommunication, only really one thing in mind here, and that is banging it down that far sideline for the score. Well, we know this game's going to be played in fine margins and being given a, a short field turnover, I was backing Fendisk all the way to take that opening break. Jet Set very much let off the hook there. And uh, as this game pans out, we'll see what that one point difference might make. Fendisk floating it forward now. San Jose runs through, gets the pass off. San Jose then cuts back underneath, doesn't get the disc. It's with Spiegel out to the far sideline. Lopez, Spiegel continues the cut. It's going to have to be a reset back to uh, De Prado. Ica De Prado, big sprawling jet set bid comes in, but it makes its way up to San Jose. Ruben San Jose surveys the options and takes the one at the front of the end zone. Clever movement, a drop of the shoulder, changes directions and San Jose reacts quickly with a very straightforward pass. Lopez with the goal. Yeah, Lopez seems to be uh, getting quite some large coughing. So I hope that's I hope that's just 
something in his throat rather than being out of breath because one point in, he's got a lot more work to do. This is just nice, calm offense here from the Spaniards. In the end zone, they're trying to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup that they like. Player comes towards the open side, thinks, no, I'm getting out of there, but oh, it's just a little dummy. It's the plant from Lopez, gets the defender biting towards that break side and gives the space to lead him into the open front corner for a one-all scoreline. Yeah, uh, Lopez actually leading the stats for the uh, team so far. 26 assists and 10 goals across the tournament. It's not a bad return. Oh, what a perfect pull right into Oof. the corner. Uh, come and get out of there, Jet Set. The uh, first two passes are deep in their own end zone. They're still there now, but they're working it across, trying to find a way out. Contact made further up the field. Now the deep shot goes up. Brilliant work in their own end zone, but a D. What a D it is. Diego Jimenez. Oh, no, Diego Lorenzo with the block. That disc towering a little bit too long. I must admit, when the disc went up, I thought it was going to be good because it felt like there was enough separation, but the speed across the sand, able to pick up those knees, churn and get the pressure on and knock that disc away. Jet Set didn't necessarily look pressured too much by having the disc in their own end zone. Happy to swing and work around. And it wasn't, you know, a... Uh, just a, let's get it out of there and play some field position. They set up the isolation on the huck really well. Just a brilliant left paw claws it away for Fendisk. Yeah, Lorenzo with the block. Fendisk with another chance. Sparholz flicks it forward. Was there a hand in there from Jet Set? Either way, it's down to the turf. And Jet Set. Again, getting their offensive turnovers back. Not that time, gifting it straight back to Sparholz. Fendisk with another chance at a break. This will be their third break chance in the game so far. Can they put it in? You see, after the turn, Dimare just dropping off, trying to stop the big look. And uh, the Austrians for Fendisk wisely spotting that and just keeping it short, utilizing that poached player. Vasquez to Novak. Vasquez now cuts deep, makes static downfield. Sparholz gets the big break around. Gets it back to Novak. Calmly working up. This is better from Fendisk. They know they're not going to get too many opportunities to uh, get breaks. They were careless with the first two. Can they be more careful this time? They do. They work it around the back. Pedro Vasquez with the goal at the front corner. But the whole team involved there from Fendisk. Big pressure turning into a first break of the game. Very calm offense after the turn that time. They're worried about stopping the scoring shots there. Jet set. So they're s s sitting slightly off on the force. It gives them the chance to try and gum those lanes downfield. But what it does do is it gives up the break side. And when you get that break side flow and continuation going, it is so tough to stop. Here's the D from Jimenez. Just getting up there, knocking it away. And then this was how they gave it back to Jet Set. I think, I don't know if anyone does get a hand on it. I just, a bit too far out in front and Vasquez closes his hand and the disc has already gone by that point. And you see here on the force, just sitting off slightly. They don't want to allow that pass into the end zone, but getting it on the break side and then the quick pick up and pivot. And Vasquez gets the game's first break. I do love that pivot and throw in a single motion. Didn't get to the end of the pivot before he'd already released it. You could see that the receiver was there. And another towering pull lands with Jet Set. Fendis come down to take up the mark. And they move it quickly. And now a big flick going up. The uh, target downfield is Van der Roos, who takes it in under a lot of pressure. But Van der Roos rides it. That is a superb grab from Arno Van der Roos because as you see the pressure, he probably hears those footsteps coming, churning up the sand behind him. But there was no hesitation there from Emile Derrick. He looked up and he knew what his option was. And no hesitation there in pulling the trigger. And it's a scorching sidearm shot here. See, so just the step out, 
a little bit of roll curve on that one towards Van der Roest at the back of the end zone, makes the catch with the defender on his back shoulder, who I must admit gets not a, who gets none of the disc and a lot of Van der Roest there. But good focus to retain possession on the catch. Emil de Rieke, one of the stats leaders for this team, that's his 16th assist to go along with five goals. Yeah, he gave him so much uh, backpack there. He almost had a chance to fasten the straps, didn't he? he was... San Jose moving it quickly downfield with Lopez. Gets it back to San Jose again now. Lopez, San Jose continues the cut. There was a hand coming across, but it sails safely in the dark shirt hands. The short disc movement from the Spaniards make light work of that jet set chasing shadows, chasing hard but not getting anywhere near the disc. And it's still uh, Fendisk with the one break up at the moment. Yeah, Alvaro Itormendi making the catch for the score. That time, Fendisk, they're happy to take the big shots, but if you, if you sag off a little bit and you give them the opportunity to move the disc quickly on the sand, they're more than happy to take that. They'll utilize the throw and goes, getting that quick first step just there past the bidding defender and then the lead pass into the end zone for the score. Interestingly, with Jet Set, they're not necessarily playing strict O and D lines, but rather they've got one set of players that will go one way and one set of players that will go the other. Whether they're on offense or defense doesn't necessarily matter to them. Good to see Dan Damari out for uh, Jet Set in the 23 shirts. Uh, completed a, a very successful trip to Cincinnati, picking up fourth place with the Moon Catchers. Damari all over that stat sheet as well, making a big contribution for the Belgian side. Yeah, 20 goals and 14 assists so far this weekend for Di Marais. Uh, Derek gets it across the far side. Looks. Big advancing uh, pass to Elias Ravere. Better from Jet Set. Moving quickly, not taking the risky options this time. But well, maybe that one was a risky option. I thought the cutter was going to make that, but almost like slowed the run. Martin Robbins and then needed to uh, lay out to catch back up the ground. Didn't take the disc. So another opportunity for Fendisk here. There's definitely the opportunity there from that throw from Ravier, but it's probably, I mean, uh, I think it's to Riku's. You know, he puts in the full extension bid, but it's so difficult on the sand to get that proper extension and elevation that you want. And he had the man beat to the cone. They just couldn't quite punch it in. Another yeah. Fendisk opportunity. Yeah, European Beach Ultimate Club Championship here in Portugal. This is open division semi-final action. Fendisk from Santander in Spain. Moving the disc nicely down the sideline. Oh, it was nearly there. It's landed at the back of the end zone. The shot was good, but it was too far ahead of Gonzalez. Not able to convert another break opportunity. Yeah, no, Jan Novak just maybe letting his, uh, his aggression get, a bit, get the better of him there. Taking a, you know, a really tricky throw towards the end zone and just putting too much on it. Jet set. First option taken away, second option is available, coming out, a little bit of contact made. And I'm not sure what, who, how he got hurt there, but he's definitely uh, he's, taken a blow. He's picked one up in the uh, unmentionables, I think. The how's your father's? Uh, it's the back leg. Is it the back leg? It's as the back he, heel that catches him. As he was jumping. <laughs> yeah. That one's going to be sore for a while. Yeah. I think about half of our viewership is, is wincing slightly. Disc in. Moyerson floats it back, but a big grab was required to keep it alive. We know Derek can gun it. Derek does gun it. There's a uh, pit called in the centre of the field. And the long walk downfield for Alexander Sparholtz to uh, walk all the way down there, just to throw it all the way back again and then walk all the way back to get back into position. It's not quite the walk of shame necessarily. 
because it's not done anything wrong, but it does feel a little bit bad. wonder if he's going to jog it back up for us. He sent it. Now he does have to jog it back up because he's going to be way out of position. No, nope, he's going to walk. It's, it's the sand. You've got to conserve every little split second of energy that you can. Perfectly still conditions out here. The Atlantic, like a mill pond over our right uh, shoulder. The sun starting to warm the sand here in the Praia de Roche. Jet set on the end zone line. Derek, high stall count, does find an outlet. Ravier, again, another high stall count. And the connections just aren't quite there for Jet Set. Fendisk with yet another break opportunity. Can they put this one in? They've only converted one of their break opportunities so far. And if uh, Jet Set do manage to push them hard in the second half, it's these uh, missed break opportunities in the first six points that are going to be uh, Fendisk going to have to look back on. Contact made and a foul accepted. Novak picks up from the uh, floor. Phillips clearly got the wrong message there. He'd already gone off deep looking for after a, what he thought was a turnover. Novak resets back to San Jose and across to uh, Jimenez. Sparholtz. Back to him and Earth again, floats it into the end zone. The big hands of Jan Novak reaches up and grabs that disc, and that is a break. Yeah, it just feels like Jets are having to work so hard on every possession because Fendisk are swarming all over them, and the Belgians are struggling to keep up with that intensity. Even though, yes, they've been more profligate than they would have liked after the turn, Fendisk, they're generating themselves enough opportunities that their D-line offense doesn't really have to be perfect. So, uh, they've had um, four turnovers. Oh, no, four, four blocks, two of them converted. Actually... On balance, Benji, 50, that's, 50. that's not too bad, is it? It's not bad, but you always, set, you always set high standards for yourself. So, Elsewhere in this open division, the other semi-final continues. That is uh, Salah Spills. Yeah, going up against Solaris, who we streamed in that Barnstormer quarterfinal yesterday. Currently tied at twos. Yeah, if you didn't see that game, Solaris versus Krakens yesterday, do go back and watch it. My goodness, what a game. Myself and Benji almost fell off our uh, perch up here with excitement. It really did have everything an ultimate would want. And in the most beautiful sunset scenes, long shadows, the uh, stunning Algarve backdrop. It was a very special moment. Chamiso. Sorry, that's not Chamiso. That um, is Hyman's. Hyman's has it back now, looks downfield, beautiful raking pass, caught in stride by Dan Damari. We mentioned him earlier, and he's bringing home the disc for Jet Set, staying within one of the Spanish at the moment. Damari is a very useful addition to have to any side, but especially with Jet Set here, you've already got that kind of, that shared understanding, because rather than, you know, you're going to play with someone else in Europe or worldwide, you're picking up with another Belgian team, so you kind of understand the values, the culture, you know the people a little bit better as well. It feels like a decent fit, and evidently his performance this weekend has demonstrated that. I had a friend move to Leuven a couple of years ago, and I found they had an unusual Christmas tradition. What is that? Well, they've got a big, they always set up a big nativity scene, and every year, within about 24 hours, uh, students put it upon themselves to steal the baby from the nativity scene and replace it with something. Oh. <laughs> Comedy item of choice. Yes, so if I, if I refer to them as the baby stealers, that's why. That's why, okay. Yeah. Fen disc now. Two breaks up. Floaty disc, an opportunity to get a block, but uh, waves underneath that one, painting the underside of the disc. Uh, Smurts art, not able to get the block. 
Fendisk maintaining possession. Spiegel sends it across to the far side. De Prado. Uh, even though they didn't get the turn, that's a good sign for Jetset, forcing a bit of pressure there on Fendisk. Good cut from Itomendi. Floats it forward. Oh, beautiful disc from uh, Alvaro Itomendi. Gets low, floats it forward. Perfect amount of touch. And the goal uh, caught by Sebastian Spiegel, who'd uh, made a great cut up the line, found in stride. Just a little on pass on strike cut behind the handler, leading into the end zone. It's a man with a, a hat that wouldn't look out of place on you, I think. Oh. A little Akubra-esque. Do like a big hat on the beach. It's very necessary out here. The weather's been absolutely delightful. This was the one. It's the no pivot backhand from Spiegel, and it gets a lot of air underneath it. Smesat is uh, he's not far away, to be honest, but it just seems to float beyond him. Fendis get away with it a little bit there. And Itor Mendy faking the backhand and just squeezes that one down the line, leading Spiegel into the end zone for the score. Obviously, we mentioned Spiegel represented Germany at the World Games. He usually plays his club ultimate with Wall City out of Berlin, although he is uh, no longer based in the German capital. I think he's out in the Middle East. Jet set, spreading the play to the far side. Ravia. Oh, that is an absolute bomb into the end zone. Acres of space found. What a disc. Christoph Phillips eating up the uh, sand to get there, but it was all about the assist. An absolute howitzer of a throw there. Just opens the eyes, sees the option, no fear at all. And when you can throw it like that, I don't know why you would be reticent to take that shot. One of the things about beach is because you've got the smaller field dimensions, and yes, you know, it's not a huge amount smaller, but it does mean that you can kind of reliably score from anywhere on the pitch. You trust players at this level to have the throws, to stretch the field long when they need to, no matter how deep they are. And that time, going from wire to wire, end zone to end zone, Dimare leads in Phillips for the score with a brilliant flick high. A light breeze flutters across the sand. The flags on the far side largely untroubled. And that disc goes out of bounds. Another beautiful morning here in Portimao, although for the first time all weekend, I can spy some clouds. How disappointing, Benji. I don't know, it feels a bit more comfortable for me. It was, I, I, I was confused as to why the sky wasn't permanently grey. Uh, the players and the people of Portimao have uh, really had a fantastic week here. On the sand, Fendisk. Looking to uh, capitalise on that, but they're not going to capitalise if they put the disc too close to Arno van der Roos there. Reacting quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure how much he knew about that, but just making himself big and uh, getting his rewards. Jet set with a chance to get one break back. They trail by two breaks, but they're not going to do it if they keep making mistakes like that. This time, uh, Emile Derrick. Just a miscommunication. Sends it into the sand. Del Prado to San Jose gets it back to Del Prado. San Jose on the far sideline there. Only uh, one cut coming and it's uh, well marked out. Has to go to Spiegel for the reset. Spiegel looks upfield. The reset uh, is marked out well. It's third time of asking. Itomendi comes out from the deep space. Curving the cut, it's been called as a travel and, and uh, quickly keeps it moving again. Spiegel draws a huge uh, bid to try and prevent that disc. Powerful fake from Spiegel. Spiegel lowers the arm, drops the shoulder. My goodness me, what a put that is to find Alvaro Itomendi taking his second goal of the game. Brilliant That's work. An aggressive option there. And it feels like I need to get to the break side because I'm str we're struggling a little bit to grind it into the open. So how can I get to that space? The hammer's coming over the top of the defense there. I don't like that look, you know. Never see players throw the thumber, much to my behest. So why not take a creative option here and go for that inside-out backhand? You see Spiegel size it up. You can 
see on that camera angle, actually, there's a nice lane to throw into, and it's past the bidding Derek into, uh, into Itamendi for the score. 6 4 to fend this. I, by the way, I've been corrected. Although we think about Dan Dimare picking up with moon catchers this season, uh, actually, Jet Set, born and raised. Um, that was Jet Set's first break opportunity. It was the, the first turnover from the Fendisk O line. Yeah, they'll be disappointed that the uh, the the crossed right the crossed wires put my teeth back in uh, gave the disc back so quickly. But it does feel like they are generating a bit more t pressure on the Spanish on offense. That's a big gainer, a fast disc up the field, floating it forward, milking it all the way, and getting it into the end zone. Great takedown for Jet Set. It's the four shirt. That is uh, Robbins with the score. We'll see it here. Just let's find, a, let's do a little bit of a throw and go towards that far sideline, and getting as much possible sauce as he can out of that barbecue backhand. Finally catches it and unleashes to Robbins into the end zone. Six-five jet set. They're hanging around here. They're not letting Fendisk, you know, pull away from them. Although the Spaniards will be receiving to begin the second half. So the Jet Set would love a break here. Well, they got close on the previous point. A poor turnover. Prevented that from turning into anything that was going to trouble the scoreboard. Fendisk with Lopez. Lopez to Spiegel. Spiegel having a great game. Gets it to San Jose. Veteran. Whips it up the field to Lopez. Lopez floats it forward. Spiegel milking it all the way in the end zone. Good positional mark from the Jet Set defender. Can he find a way through? Looks into the end zone. Has to float it to the far side. Big bid coming in. But, oh, another great grab from Ito Mendy. Flying high beyond the receiver, beyond the defender, and bringing that disc down. They take the half. Yeah, a good half there for Fendisk, a couple of breaks up as well. O-Line's only turned it over once, but they very nearly did so again there. That got into a very, very high stall count. See it's Spiegel here, going for the offhand backhand, doesn't see it. Demare on the mark, getting very busy, very active. And then on the high stall, thinks, why not? I can reach that in there and pass the diving, despairing Derek. I'll be honest, I'm not sure what else he can do there as a defender. It's good coverage, but Fendis playing in the margins and nailing it on that occasion. Oh, getting some waves uh, from the Valkyria team on the sideline. They've just picked up uh, a bronze medal in the women's first game of the day. The 8.30 start. That's uh, not, not the time slot anybody was after. No, but with the... Uh, yeah, obviously got to get all the games in before the sun sets. So, uh, nice early start. And to be honest, I can't give a better way to start the day than with some ultimate. Just coming up to uh, 10 o'clock local time here in Portugal. We're on the south coast, the Atlantic over to our right. Sparkling early morning over by the marina as the, the yachts moored. Wait, Fendisk working it up with Lopez. A little pop backhand to Spiegel. Spiegel continues the cut down the far sideline. Is found by a good pass from De Prado. De Prado's waiting at the back of the field, unmarked. Gets the disc and gets it to Lopez. Gets it back to De Prado now. Just horizontal movement at the moment, but uh, Jet Set seems to be allowing that. Oh, who's lurking in the end zone again? Alvaro Itomendi with his fourth goal of the game, racking up the stats, and he's there as the finisher. Fendis working as a team, but Itomendi picking up the goals. Fendis feels like that point was a lot more fluid for them in the past few points. It's been a bit more of a grind. Jets that have generated some opportunities, but this time, disc was moved nice and quickly. Just happy to bounce that back and forth in the backfield. Try and utilize the full width of the pitch to change the angles of attack. 
and eventually Ito Mendy's going to get his goal one way or the other. Jose Manuel Lopez finds him for the score. At the moment, it's very much looking like uh, Fendisk have, have got this game under control. A goal either side of the half, and the two breaks from that first half finally starting to show the gap between the two teams. But remember, Jet Set were 9 5 down in their quarter final and came back to win 13 11. So they're a team that know how to fight back. The Belgians in white, the team from Santander in black. Contact made. Santander ultimate has, uh, was a huge force to be reckoned with. They had a big local club. Very many of those players now not uh, not local, but the the brand, the Fendisk brand, has stuck around as a high quality ultimate team. And they've attracted a few really brilliant pickups for this tournament as well, competing at the highest level. And a, a foul call, a pick call, and that's been declined. Is that going to stand as a turnover? I feel like it, it happened before the throw went up. Receiver might have stopped as a result. A little bit of Mac line practice. Good surface for some Mac line beach. Phillips with the disc. There's two goals in this game already. Conversation further up the field between Novak and uh, Lucas Kirstens. Kestens. Phillips centers it. Jet set with the full length of the field to go here. Not going to make it up the line. Cross field pass. It's a good cut from Kestens. Low release. Tries to open up the option with the flick. Isn't there. Goes for the uh, dump pass. And another pick called. Interesting there. I like seeing uh, Heyman's really threaten the low release because against Sparholz is obviously a bigger figure. Try and find ways to get him off balance. So threatening those low releases. Try and get him low to the ground. Got to find a way of moving the uh, huge Austrian frame around, haven't you? On the far side now. Ravier. Or is that Damare? Damare does get the disc out. He has it back again now and immediately sends it deep, but that's going to be rolling out of bounds. Tries to catch it in. Is there a yeah, I think I think uh, Heyman's knew that he wasn't going to be able to get there. Maybe he could have tried the greatest, but there was no support behind. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was surprised he didn't try the greatest. It looked like that was only one stride out of bounds. He wasn't going to get there and land in, but he, he could have hurled it behind him in some way or even back down the field to where the uh, the other Jet Set players were. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen Belgians throw greatest in important games. No. It's been a uh, very good year for Belgian Ultimate. Moon catchers finishing in fourth place and really capturing the hearts of many in World Ultimate with their uh, Latvian pickups and a couple of American pickups as well. But the, uh, the spicy core of that Belgian side really lighting homegrown, up the tournament. Yeah. Homegrown, yes. Fendisk replaces the, reseats the hat. Scampering down the line goes Vasquez. Senses the disc. Sparholtz with a little tasty offhand push. Quick exchanges of discs with Novak. Gets it out to Pedro Vasquez again. Jimenez dumps it back. Novak, can he find a way through? And there is the huge figure of Alexander Sparholtz in acres of space with the over-exaggerated crocodile snapping away and taking another break. Yeah, Fendisk in the ascendancy here and Sparholtz feels like he's got a little bit of license to showboat there. I mean, he was wide open. Dimaray came up front to try and get a poach on that, uh, on that underneath pass there to Novak, but it's the risk reward having not got there 
it means that Spalt is wide open behind him. All Novak has to do is find a way to break the force. And once he does so, it's game over. Well, uh, Fendisk were uh, letting opportunities to score disappear in those first six points. They had several times they, they had the disc and didn't put it in, but much more clinical there. They've uh, scored a hold either side of half and then a break adding to that margin. 9-5 they lead here at the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships. The party in Portimao con continues. Myself, Tom Styles, alongside Benjamin Reese. The winner of this game plays the winner of Salas Bills and Solaris in the final. And Salas Bills up 7-6 in that one. A tight game on the field. You can actually see kind of slightly in the distance behind the grandstand. Should it be Fendisk Salas Bills? Two teams winning at the moment. That would be a rematch of a pool play game that finished 10-9 to Salas Bills. But for Jet Set, don't count them out. This is exactly the scenario they were in against Sandjob and they came back to win that one. Yeah, do they have two huge comebacks in them? Um, Salas Bills not able to pull away from Solaris, the Polish team, in that other semi-final. Who will they face? Fendisk looking like the money team at the moment. It's a game to 13. Uh, time cap at 45 minutes, which we might have to think about because... Uh, Ten minutes away. Yeah, there's been a few a few calls, hasn't there? And a couple of times that we've had long points. That's another brilliant pull. Not too deep, but giving the defence chance to get down there. Jet set off to the races now. Derek finds Arnold van der Roost. Big floaty back pass to Dan Damare. Superb layout there from Derek. Damare's there to take the disc down. Gets it across. Fendisk happy to let Jet Set cut underneath. But the Jet Set only wanted that deep shot and they were taking that away. Eventually, they ran out of patience more than anything and sent a disc towards the Atlantic but away from any receivers. It's a spicy look, and there was a big part of me that thought Visco was going to be able to catch up to it, but he just never quite got the turn of pace that he needed on the uh, on the sand. Do you think Visco ever thought he was going to catch up to it? That was the problem. No, and if he did, I think he could have had a, maybe a better chance at it. The sand is a remarkable thing. It can sap your energy and sometimes give you the ability to fly. Landing softly. Oh, just keeping the disc alive. Brilliant play from Fendisk. It's the Sebastian Spiegel not going to let the disc die. Fast disc required to get it to Jimenez. And a call from Jet Set to switch into that deep space. They could see that that's what Jimenez was looking for. Spiegel's got an opportunity now. Striking deep is uh, Jimenez. Doesn't take it. This does a really good of coming flatter on that mark to stop that deep throw going. What a disc. Oh, what a disc. Jimenez. Oh, and then Jimenez. Having caught the disc in the ideal position, Novak in the end zone just can't find that final connection. But the high stall count, the disc... Uh, from Sebastian Spiegel raking across the Portuguese sand. Great field vision there from Spiegel. Very nearly unpicked the jet set defence. Here's the big look. Chasing it down. Fendisk in a great position here. Oh, I thought he was going to go underneath that for a minute, minute but uh, Juan Gonzalez always had an eye locked on the disc. His second block of the game, denying what was certain to be a point for jet set. 9-5, the team from Santander in Spain lead this one. Fendisk in black. And Jet Set in the white. Picking up. Spiegel. Gets it back from Jimenez. Jimenez has it again. Nice low release disc. Fast movement to Gonzalez. Now Novak. 
Novak doesn't really have anything to throw at. Tries to get a low release down. Spiegel's there. Jet set. Taking away the options at the moment. Jimenez to Spiegel. Seems to be anchoring this handling line at the moment. Chance to score here. Taken. And they spike the disc. Wasn't quite everything connecting for Fendisk. But they've still got the players. They've still got the throws. And now they have a five-point lead with another break. Yeah, I think clearly a bit of frustration there from Spal Holtz for Fendisk. Felt that they probably should have scored that one on the previous possession. They didn't, but they got it back from that deep look. We see Derrick do a lot of damage in the handler space. This time he takes off in the throw. Maybe doesn't have quite enough on it. The defender reads it well, making a good play. Juan Gonzalez and then calmly working it down the other end. It was a nice low release break as well from, from Novak down the line to Spiegel that really opened up the play. And eventually, again, utilizing the width of the pitch to stretch the Belgians laterally. On the break side, Spiegel finds Gonzalez, punches that one in to Sparholt, who, yeah, seems to have a bit of pent up anger or frustration as that pull lands out of bounds, so we'll be brought in at the break mark. Jet set in a battle to stay in this game, otherwise they'll be competing from, uh, for bronze against wh whoever loses between Solaris and uh, Salah Spills on the game, the other semi-final taking place just over the other side of the stands. Jet set here now, Hamiso. Working it up the field, oh, excellent flow. Finishing with a disc eventually landing in the hands of Christoph Phillips for his third point of the game. My God, how Jet Set needed that one. Because Fendisk, close to putting this game out of be to bed. They were only, it was 5-6 at one point, and then five on the bounce made it 10-5, and it looked like it was game over. So for Jet Set, if you want to start earning some of those breakbacks, you've got to put it on offense. And Fock, finding Phillips for his third goal of the game, Phillips, makes it 10-6. Still a lot of work to do, especially for a... Uh, Fendis go line that has been nearly faultless, turning it over just the once all game. It's a tough ask. Yeah, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't realised quite how difficult Jet Set's O line have been finding it the last few uh, points, but they really do need to uh, re-establish some sort of composure in this game, and that's a great way to do it. Big disc from Emile Durik. Disc landing on the tape. And uh, Spiegel will escort it to the front line. So landing inbounds and rolling out. So, uh, Spiegel. Two options. San Jose is the one he takes. Itomendi. Oh, Jet Set have got a break. Dan Damare comes up with the goods. They've got the block. Can they put it in now? Damare again. Turns. Gets it back to Derek. Damare. Chance for Jet Set here. Oh, couldn't quite connect. Oh, the finest of margins and Fendis denying. The connection was nearly there, but nearly counts for nothing as the disc collects the sand. Another ambitious shot there. Dimaray gets a little bit of license to roam defensively. He gets the block, but looking for the inside out backhand. Can't make it work. Uh, Derek putting pressure on at the other end. Ito Mrendi was the target of the deep shot. Maybe there was going to be the foul called, but. Um, it might have been a bit of contact, but too far underneath the disc. So the turnover will stand. Another jet set opportunity for a break. Yeah, I do. I like that uh, Alvaro Itamendi was the, the target there. There was a little bit of contact. They had the conversation quickly with retracted the foul call. Always uh, good to have that chat. Damare now for jet set. Another chance to get 
a break back here. Can they connect it on this occasion? Moyerson gets it down the field to Robbins. But that's just a complete miscommunication, I guess. They just haven't like looked like they're all on the same page on occasions. And against Fendisk, who look like they're locked into some sort of uh, elaborate pattern that no one can decipher. It's not going to be good enough. Ica de Prado. De Prado floats it into the end zone with a high stall count. Another block from Jet Set. Their third break opportunity of this point. Can they now guard the disc more carefully and actually turn it into a break? That time, Fendisk seeing no other option on the high stall but to put it into the end zone. And Moyerson comes through for the Belgians. High stall count, but it gets it to Derek, who made a really good cut. Loads of space deep. Player arriving quickly. Just enough pressure, some contact made, but both players had drifted well underneath that disc. It's not a great read, this one from Moyerson. Ica de Prado didn't need to do anything there. It had already gone. He did catch him on the body there. I've seen these sort of situations before. There has been a foul, uh, but it was completely inconsequential as to whether the disc was caught. Eight seven to Salad Spills in the other semi-final, by the way. Expecting the whistle to go to indicate the end of 45 minutes any second now. Yeah, another good uh, conversation and the right outcome there. An apology for the foul, but the turnover stands. Yeah, I think I heard in that discussion Itar Mendy saying, uh, I think it's the same thing that happened at the other end. There was contact, but it didn't affect. And it's always nice to see teams engage in these actually productive discussions. Shows that uh, it is possible. The world needs more productive discussions. Sebastian Spiegel for Fendisk. San Jose drops the shoulder, gets it to Ito Mendy. Big fake. Spiegel just stops on a dime, makes himself available. Floaty disc over the top with a little bit of touch to Lopez. Lopez surveys the options, doesn't like any of them. Spiegel ever ready to take that uh, dump cut. Ito Mendy comes out of the end zone. Spiegel just drifting across. Oh, he takes the lefty option. Spiegel rises and with his fingertips brings it in for an 11-6 margin, and it'll be game to 12 here, and a chance to take their place in the final later on today. Stands waiting and ready for Fendisk. Well, they got the hold, but it was a real slog for them out there. Jet Set got the turn once, twice, three times, but on each occasion, unable to really make it count, and Fendisk Decided that enough wasn't enough. Yeah, Fendisk's defense has been has been good, but Jet Set's mistakes is the reason why they're trailing so so much here. You know, you can't um, you can't have so many discs that go awry or too deep or connections don't quite make it and expect to live with a team like Fendisk. You have to be playing your best game, and Jet Set just haven't this morning. But there's still time. Sparholtz now launches it into the sky. It's going to come down right at the back. Oh, what a brilliant pull that is. Fendisk already all over this opportunity to get a. This will be a, if a Fendisk broke here, it would be the game. Game to 12 now. Oh, and a touch. The big figure of Jan Novak spreads himself across the sand. The fingertip touch takes it away. Jetset looking a bit physically and mentally tired there, allowing the underneath block from Novak and timeout called by Fendisk, sensing the opportunity there, Lorenzo, to put it in for the win. What a game Fendisk have had. And uh, I fancy if the other two teams in the other semi are having a real humdinger of a battle, that Fendisk are looking fresh, they're looking really athletic. They've barely made a mistake in this game. 
that one uh, that previous point with with three turnovers was really the only time in the game that they've looked vulnerable yeah, by the way, the Salisbury Solaris game has had its first break and it's given Salisbury a 9 7 lead. Oh, really? Very, very tight in the other semi final. Two tall physical teams. Much like, much like we saw in their quarterfinal Solaris, when they've got everything clicking, their offense is different gravy. Coming up straight after this, we've got the bronze medal match. Chuck versus uh, B-Fire in the mixed division with uh, Benji and Hannah. I'm sure that will be a thoroughly entertaining contest. And then we'll uh, be having the loser of this game back on the field for the bronze medal in the open division. Myself and, and Benji will be back. So you've got three games in a row, Benj. I do, yeah. Be, uh, it's nothing. It's just a, just, a day, just a day in the life. I mean... What a life. How can I complain when I'm sitting on a shipping container on a beautiful Portuguese beach. Vendisk with a chance to take their place in the European Beach Ultimate Club Championship final to face what's likely to be Salah Spills. And I've just seen Justin Ford collect another point in the end zone. For I think that is Salah Spills now. Is that Salah Spills taking the game? Just have a look across the other side of the field. So... It might be, uh, if this gets put in, Fendisk in the gold medal match. Vasquez. Floaty disc. When you've got Novak as a receiver, you can float a disc all you like. Offhand push pass again. Pokes it quickly into the end zone. Alexander Sparholtz gets it back again. Novak. Oh, they've done it. Fendisk into the final. They'll be playing for the gold medal match uh, against Salaspils later on this afternoon. They've outclassed the Belgian side jet set here. And it is a big win for Santander, a big win for Fendesk. Brilliant play from Alvaro Itamendi with four goals, but the whole team have been involved and they've just been in a different league, Benji. Yeah, Fendesk looking a cut above their Belgian opponents in this game for jet set. Obviously disappointing first appearance on the live stream. Not going to plan, but Fendisk are a really good side. There's no shame in losing to them. Dust yourself down, pick yourself up, get yourself into that headspace and see if you can go and uh, grab the gold medal, the gold medal, the bronze medal in a couple of games time. Meanwhile, in the gold medal game, it is a pool play rematch between Salaspils and Fendisk. And if you needed reminding, that game finished. 11-10 to Salah Spills in the pool stage with Salah Spills breaking on Universe for the win. So if we get that game again, who knows? Who knows? Well, do tune in later on today for that gold medal match. Fendisk versus Salah Spills. Uh, Fendisk richly earning their place in the final. Do stay tuned uh, to Ulti TV. And if you've enjoyed our coverage and you'd like to support the work that Ulti TV do, you can become a Patreon. Uh, so go to patreon.com slash ulti.tv and you can sign up and uh, support the work that they do. But from myself, Tom Stiles, from Benji Reese, and from all of our crew, do stay with us with more action from the European Beach Ultimate Club Championships coming soon. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you.
We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiweek. Ultiweek.net.